Oh, hello. I'm Arthur K. Finkelstein, homemade jam enthusiast, Wildlife Dental Society member, and author of Jenny the Clue. The greatest adventure novel series in the world! And now I want you to help me write her biggest adventure yet. Jenny the Clue, Detective Who, an interactive adventure game where you control the story. Hey, you're not supposed to see that yet. Spoiler alert! As I was saying. We'll explore the town of Arthurton, a world rich with characters like Jenny the Clue. When her mother is accused of murder, Jenny takes on the case of her life, and soon she discovers nothing is what it seems. An adventure game with choosiness on a massive scale. Crack the case. Save your family. Unearth Arthurton's dark secrets. And don't forget to floss. The first thing I should tell you is that I lived here until I was 11, but I wasn't allowed inside half the rooms. After my brother Milton disappeared, Mom sealed them up. Each bedroom has a story. And some of them seem a little hard to believe. I don't believe in ghosts. But something always felt wrong about the house. Coming back, I finally know what it is. There's just too much of it. But if you know anything about the Finch family, you know the stories have at least one thing in common. Someone always dies at the end. My dearest child, it pains me to send you so far away. But I had to be sure you would be safe. At first, the island kingdom may seem strange, full of magic and fantastic creatures. But you shall find honest people there. Trust in their wisdom, and let the celestial compass guide you. Have courage, my child. For one day, you shall find your way home. Can 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 I go now? Oh, okay. Hello, my name is Paradigm. I am more than just a horribly mutated human being. I am the person you are looking for. Here is my home and studio. This is where I make my sweet ass disco tech beats. I also use it to look at cats on the internet and slowly waste away my life. John 3000 also lives here. I like to take hikes through the mountain valleys of Kroos. And long walks throughout the forest, trying to avoid eye contact with a local drug addict. Although, technically you can't make eye contact anyway. I also own a successful Sperry computer parts shop. Here is my dog Igorshki. He is the most beautiful dog in all of Krush. Mainly because he is only dog. But he is my dog. Here is where I find all my Sperry computer parts for my shop. The cone hangs out here. He thinks he is the protector of cones, but he is just fucking batshit crazy. I also like gardening. That dog, a talking beatboxing eggplant. He came into being from the radiation from the sparrow plant. However, he likes to think he is from the vegetable patch of Biggie Smalls. I just think he is an asshole. I hope you can look past my shitty personality and love me for my looks. Please call me. 
You won't regret it. Let me tell you a story. Once, long ago, our ancestors lived in a world above the sea. But they were selfish and fearful creatures that turned on one another and waged a great war. For this, the gods punished them, drowning the world in ocean and imprisoning them beneath a layer of unbreakable ice. Although all seemed lost, humanity's penchant for perseverance was strong, and a new civilization emerged. One god even took pity on mankind, and she left a gift at the bottom of the deepest trench where only the most deserving soul would be able to find it. And so, even as humanity began to rebuild and form new societies, the first of countless treasure hunters and adventurers set out to seek this gift. This takes camaraderie. History's greatest secret.
My name is Jacob Song. The life I once knew has been taken from me. Everything I ever loved, lost to the snow-covered wasteland. When the asteroid hit, it filled the atmosphere with dust and debris. Then came the darkness. Plant life died out, the oceans froze over, and few survived. Now, with the acolyte by my side, I wander the void looking for supplies. Our lives depend on it. Because in 30 days, help is coming.